For some reason, this seems like the most sincere Annie. Is it like the first time we're seeing her? Maybe just the fact that she's cracking under all the pressure allowed some sweetness to come out. Alright, here's the backstory. Nice, that was a nice shot. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Mercy, Radon Stohes District Part 2. I'm surprised Mercy is in this show's vocabulary. I missed Levi and Erwin last episode. What is happening to me? Feels like they're a little bit closer after that whole thing. Oh yeah, he, he hurt his leg, right? The more I think about it, the more I like Levi's way of looking at things. That's true for everyone, and it's especially true in this life, the life that they're living. So you just prepare yourself, make yourself capable, and then you just go with the flow. When I think about that, it makes me feel peaceful, which I think for Levi is kind of an interesting place to be considering all the chaos. I think it's important to make the distinction between just complete, like, well, nothing I do matters, and recognizing that there are inevitably a lot of things outside of one's control, you know? I'm really big on the idea that the focus should be on oneself and, like, one's own state and actions and things like that, and the rest is sort of like, well, you just hope for the best. It makes Levi seem cooler, yet again. Yes, we, unlike A. Goodwin, noticed the Titan had blonde hair. It's an interesting choice having these events out of order. It definitely made that whole, like, Annie capture reveal a lot more exciting. Right. Or if she figures out the plan. That is not how that went. Or was it? Someone you know very well. Someone who's capable of spinning men in the air. And back to the present. It does look like her. <laughs> Damn it. Will Aaron really be able to run away though? Wow, she's all up in this tunnel. Right, she put that on during that conversation, right? That first conversation. Think, Armin, think. <laughs> We're counting on you. It failed spectacularly. Whoa. Yeah, that all makes sense too because Annie is so capable. She's one of the best fighters in the cadets. Do you have a clear goal in mind? Oh no. You need to get yourself a ring or something. We don't have a full picture. That's what makes it tough for me. I mean, Annie wants something. That's not really the issue. I mean, she is the female titan, but what does she want and why? Yeah, that was a little bit confusing at first. I didn't really understand what that was about and why she paused. So I guess Armin did that deliberately, which is pretty genius. Like in the heat of battle when he's about to get crushed or Jean's about to get crushed or something, he thought to do that to test if it was somebody in the cadets. Armin is rising to the top, for sure. And if he doesn't, there's something very wrong with this world. Well, there is, but... <laughs> oh no, there were more clues that I missed. Everyone knew except for me and Aaron. I don't think so. Honestly though, if I'm Aaron, I want to know what Annie wants. I mean, I understand this is not really his decision. He's following orders and the female titan is definitely a threat to the Survey Corps. But for me, my curiosity would be getting the better of me and that's what would be holding me back. Because I don't know what's going on, there's just so many questions. The important detail is that she's not trying to hurt me, she's trying to just like, obtain me. So, there's something going on and I just want to know what that is, if I'm Aaron. <laughs> of course Armin has a plan. Oof. 
Armin, man, the ultimate hero. He's just fearless. Yeah, because now we can't expect any mercy from Annie, now that Armin's just betrayed her like that. Remember little Armin? Trembling hand, I don't know what to do. I'm a failure, Armin. <laughs> Look at him now. And also Mikasa. Mikasa showed up too. <laughs> Well, they don't have to fight, do they? They just have to escape. Because she's not going to kill Eren. So much for not hurting Eren. <laughs> Is it wrong that I kind of want Annie to take him? I just want to see where that goes. Oh no, you're just throwing your life away. Yeah, I was waiting for this. I was waiting for the military police to get some action. Because we met this crew for a reason, right? They're going to be involved. I like how Erwin's giving commands to the military police. <laughs> I like the wig. Very convincing. Gene catching the attention of Levi. Wow, even Erwin suiting up. No, no, no. Get out of the way. Stop it. Yeah, I mean, it is a bold move. He doesn't. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Very close. Yeah, that's good advice. She'll just wipe you out. Whoa! What was that move? Man, she's so good at exploiting those strings. She completely... Yeah, she just takes away every advantage they have. Because she knows. <laughs> she knows how to get in Eren's head. That doesn't look good. Annie is way more focused, but she has good reasons. Oh no, the spinning continues. Armin's really good at getting in Annie's head. He knows exactly what to say to make her pause. <laughs> That's just her face. That's just how she looks. More traps. And she can't call her titans for help this time. This might be the best day of Hanji's life. Celebrated too early. I oh know. He continues going the wrong way. Yeah, this is the Aaron we know. <laughs> Cute cat. Yeah, but he wasn't really well equipped the first time. He kind of got his ass kicked. And the end, yeah. <laughs> this is all happening so fast. And he got exposed, and then we got this huge battle back to back, basically. I thought there was going to be some mystery or intrigue about who it was for a while, but no. But, I mean, the big question for me, and the source of the intrigue still, is what is Annie after? And also, she's not working alone. It's been suggested that the Colossal Titan and the Armored Titan are also humans. I don't know how this whole thing got started, but I'm guessing there's a connection to Annie's father, and so it probably started some time ago. So there's got to be a bunch of people involved in it. Maybe even people who are in plain sight right now. I have this continuous fear for Eren that... 
just keeps getting worse. Like we had that brief glimmer of hope when Petra was talking to him about faith and then that just immediately got discarded because they all died. And now Armin is sort of egging him on, like you can't care about any of us. They're willing to throw away their lives. And that makes sense given the situation, like it's life or death for them. They don't really have time to think about, you know, their values and what's really important. But as I've said, I feel like that's a very dark assessment. That's a very dark place to go. And like what's stopping them from becoming the evil that they're fighting? It feels like they're intentionally setting up that spectrum where it's like, what do you have faith in? And is it worth having faith in anything? Or is the goal to just win and survive at all costs? Is the world inherently cruel and the only value and only virtue is survival? Or is there something more to that? But I wonder if that's not something we're going to continue to focus on in the show. And if there's an answer, if there's an answer beyond just cruelty and survival. So that part of Aaron's journey is intriguing to me. Because here we go, like diving headfirst into the darkness. Connected to that for me, and this is just me predicting even though I have no idea, is that Annie might actually be doing something great. We don't know what Annie's all about. We don't know what the actual enemy is. Annie is the face of the enemy right now, but we don't really know why she's the enemy other than she's trying to take Eren non-lethally. And we don't know who the players behind her are, and we don't know what else is going on in this world or in this country that we're not seeing that could be far more sinister. So I feel like it's possible that this is an existential trap for Eren and the characters. But that's all just me speculating. My guess, and also my fear in a way, is that Annie will not make it out of this alive, and it's going to take a while to figure out what her actual motivations are. Although, we got some geniuses in this crew. The armin Irwin duo is big brain, so they might figure something out. So I'll just have to see how this all plays out and where things will fall when the dust settles from this whole encounter. Because this is nuts, like, now you got a giant-ass titan right in the middle of the, the inner ring, right? This is going to shake some stuff up for sure. And I know that the military police are going to be increasingly more important because we got introduced to that whole crew, Marlowe and company. But that's the end of episode 24. I'll see you guys next time for the second to last episode of the season, I think. <laughs>